We are in Almeria, southern Spain. I'm at the new 1390 Super Duke launch. I owned a Gen 1, I love the Gen 2. I nearly bought a Gen 3, but I thought I've got to wait and see what the Gen 4 is like until I get my wallet out. Well, today we're on circuit on this bike. Unfortunately, we won't be riding on the road. We're just going to be sampling it on track. We've got a new cam shift technology. So you've got a, a shifting cam, a bit like the BMW system to give it a bit more top end. All sorts of amazing tech on the suspension. KTM say the bike is 60% new compared to the old 1290 model. So uh, I'm really quite excited about this. So settle down, get yourself a cup of tea and chop Z, roll the intro. <laughs> So we have had the briefing. I didn't realise, but uh, Jeremy McWilliams has been heavily, heavily involved in the development of this bike. That's something which I think they KTM haven't really shouted about. They did with like the Gen 1, Gen 2, his involvement, but not so much, even the Gen 3 a little bit, but not so much this the Gen 4, are we calling this? But yeah, he's, he's been involved through all of the development of this, riding position, everything, you know, so, um, I mean, the bikes he develops are normally absolutely sensational, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. We've also got three bikes here on, on slicks, on warmers, with all the power parts fitted. So these have the full Akropovich systems on them. You know, a lot of the other bits and bars. This one's even got the forged wheels but as well. We'll hopefully be able to get on to these as well. Everyone can have a go on these, but the problem is no one wants to start on these. So they've got enough bikes, everyone to have a go if people start on these. So I don't want to ride this first, I want to save this a bit later. Oh, that little fly screen is a bit tasty, isn't it? That looks absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> I love it. So it's uh, first session. I'm gonna, because I've only been here once last year, and I forgot to, and it's quite, it's a really technical track. I'm going to go out with Jeremy and just follow him around. I'm going to come out with you for that first session, Jeremy, yeah, just to get cool. some lines, because I've only been here once before. Let's pick a bike. I'm going to go black. Swinging my leg over, feels very familiar, of course, to the old bike. Let's, let's turn it on. Oh, I wonder what done with the keys, but they might have to have it set up so you don't need a key. That's quite nice, isn't it? proper lap time and map you've also got geometry on this now lean angles all that sort of stuff and what is really quite exciting for this bike is the fact that it's got adjustable wheelie control so you can have medium low medium high and Jeremy says you won't flip it have it high he said I've not been able to flip it see if you can <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that can, can we put a bit more preload into it because yeah. there's a couple of preload options yeah. isn't there I will put in some more preload these are the Evo bikes, of course, and uh, you've got adjustable preload on the rear shock. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. Spiders, 90%. Yeah, I can feel that already. More support. More support for the fatties. Thank you. Yeah, the riding position feels quite quite similar. It's, you know, it's a, a sporty bit of weight over the front. Seat height is deep. I can easily flat foot it. I think they've worked a lot on the seat height to bring the, the rear subframe to bring the make it a bit more accessible for for vertically challenged folk. But it's got a lot of support now. Look, that feels a bit squishy on the forks. Let's do a little bit more with those. But let's go there it is and see see how we get on. Now we're behind here. I thought we're going out behind Jeremy. I'm at the front for some reason. Why did I do that? Look at the dust coming up. That is. Uh, there's going to be no heroics until the track cleans up a little bit, that's for sure. Yeah, the riding position feels absolutely fantastic. I've got to remember my way around Almeria a year ago since I was last here. 
it is a, a technical circuit as well and by the look of it very very dusty fifth and sixth gears have been uh, changed and made closer together so fifth and sixth are now closer if you remember you know on the old bike fifth and sixth gear was like a bloody overdrive gear it was really really tall Everyone's uh, piling in. I'm going slow and steady. I do not want to see that guy. That dust is so off-putting, isn't it? Oh, the grunt out of the corners. 190 horsepower now. That shift cam, giving it an extra 10 horsepower at the top. And the five new meters of torque. And the full, the bike equipped with a full system they're saying more like 200 horsepower and another five new meters at all so it's not pushing 155 newton meters oh yeah start to lean on it a bit now oh you can feel there's a lot more at the top than it used to be on the old bike you used to have to sort of run it in a gear higher because you know because it didn't have that much at the top you know, it's a v twin you know they're not about top end screen they're about torque aren't they well, i can tell straight away with that shift cam there's definitely more more at the top so you can rev it a bit more but it's, it's a big v twin you know it's all about it's all about the torque. Loads of contact from your thighs on the tank. <laughs> Loads of support actually. It just feels so well dialed. And I've just literally stepped on it without any messing about. And I'm a 20 stone fatty and it still feels awesome for me. Where's that? A horrible, horrible chicane. I don't know quite how to do this one. Get wide, cut it in. Cut it across. Back on the gas. Got Chris and my new knee sliders as well. Oh yeah. I've done someone. I've overtaken someone. Listen the RSTs! <laughs> oh. You can't beat the Spanish day on track in the middle of the winter. So this one's got its clothes off. So basically what KTM is saying is it's a 60% new bike so it's just only 40 percent of the original bike <laughs> remains really so the frame is just slightly tweaked mainly slightly tweaked with different different mounting positions for the subframe but there's not too much happen with the frame obviously the engine is the same but revised another 50 cc um, obviously that that shift cam technology that's a bmw phrase but the ktm equivalent i think they're just calling it variable valve timing of course um, to give it that little extra bit of a kick up top. Another 10 horsepower, another five newton meters of torque. The air box is now 10 liters, so the air box is bigger. They've also changed the profile of the air box to give those additional one and a half liters to the petrol tanks. So that's a bit lower, it's a bit slimmer, a bit more room for the fuel. The latest Brembo clutch and uh, brake master cylinders. And these are the MCS ones with a fully adjustable, not only for your span, but also for the, the pressure, the pressure within the city. I mean, it's the same as what's on the 890, but well, it's new compared to what was on the, the 890 Duke car. But uh, yeah, so there's a change on the brakes. Still got the Stylema calipers down bottom. Uh, swinging arm, I think, is tweaked. The suspension's heavily tweaked. Um, but you know, it feels, it feels very familiar to the old bike. But I'd say, you know, 
just better, just a bit extra. The headlight is 750 grams lighter than the old unit. And I, I got to say, I really like the look of the new headlight. Um, 750 grams saved right at the very front of the bike, you know, so it's a lot of weight saved right at the very end of the machine. She was the beast, she's still the beast. Absolutely bonkers. Look at that. Who wouldn't love that? Orange one now. I don't know if the orange ones are quicker. I think the orange ones are quicker. Such an easy, easy bike to ride. Ah, oh, yeah. Grunt. Grunt out there. Shitty. Flippy, floppy bullshit. A second, if you push it into this shitter flop. Quick shifter, short shifter. Rely on that 1350 cc's. Austrian power! Just a little pair of climbing, baby! This, as I say, the brakes are all revised, everything's revised. Third gear, Whoa, look at that. Good run, man. Power, shift cam at six. Really popped. Yeah, I think it's still like the old bike. It likes to be in a higher gear still. Even with the shift cam, I would say. I just find the Super Duke so nice. The ergonomics. For a larger guy. The brakes are giving so much power. But I normally break at that braking marker, but you can go so much deeper than that. So much deeper. Mr. Meaty! Absolute gem, that fella. Absolute gent. Quick as well. Well, everyone's quick compared to me around here. Or anywhere. <laughs> Bloody, 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 brilliant. We have Chris Newbiggins here, well, my, my ex-boss, when I worked at PB. Yeah, 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 <laughs> pretty unmanageable, pretty unmanageable. What do you think, Chris? Give it 30 seconds, what are your thoughts? 30 seconds. Um, I mean, I've always loved Super Dukes. I mean, when you were on the mag, I had a Gen 2 2018 bike, and I loved that then, and it's more of the same. It's just, I was just talking to Nevesy, um, my colleague, and... It's just gently evolved and just got better and better and better. And the electronic suspension is a nice addition in sort of recent years. It's nice and plush. Uh, I've just been out on the standard bike, actually, and I love that one as well. Actually, I've kind of preferred that on track so far. Um, shift cam, I've not really noticed it. I can't say shift cam, the BMW lawyers <laughs> will be after that. us. Cam shift is... Uh, I've not noticed it yet, but then I've kind of been higher up in the, in the rev range, so I might have to do a few slow laps and... Uh, 
have a, have a play around in that rear frame to see what it's like. But so no, far, I, you're loving it. Yeah, it? love it. Two I'm thumbs up. Oh, I can't do two thumbs because I've got earplugs <laughs> and a microphone. And, Cheers, Chris. Yeah. We've, we've also got Junior here. We've also oh, yeah. got Junior. Go, go, what, do you, what do you reckon then? 30 seconds, mate. Shit, mate. Shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, mate, it's, it's, it's bonkers. I mean, that engine, the engine's always been the masterpiece, the centrepiece of this, this bike. And it is just... I'm struggling to comprehend or articulate just how bonkers it is. I've never had a bike wheelie going over the start finish straight here. You know you're on a bonkers thing where it does it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, bonkers, 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 bonkers for 30 seconds is my is my summary. <laughs> yeah, fucking bonkers, mate. Let's go again. We had all the chats last night and the people who work for KTM are all for X-Racing, bike nuts, Supermoto champions. They know how to build a fun motorcycle. Come on, you beauty. front end support with the anti dive stuff. Really, really good. The front gets so light. <laughs> you can bury the front end on the brakes. Chad's got his foot out. He's doing the doctor's dangle. The doctor's dangle! Engine braking. Just perfect. Amounts of engine braking. Crazy jolly boy! Oh. Someone's a... Uh, Bindit. Is there any chance of a fancy one being left? Is there any chance of a fancy one for next session? Oh uh, yeah, if you want, yeah. Just put your gloves on and... That's it. It's mine now. Thank you. Cheers. Thank We've you. also got uh, my ex-PB colleague here, uh, John McAvoy. Fast bikes mag at the moment and other stuff he got, he's got in the pipeline. He does a, he does a lot of stuff, this awesome, man. Awesome. What do you think, John? 30 seconds. What are your thoughts? Super Duke 1290 was my favourite bike anyway. I love that bike. The, uh, this latest one has basically just got a little bit more at the top, which is what, if there was one thing you could pull up the 1290 on, it's that. So it's got that uh, a plenty, and it's still got all that same... The yeah, fun factor, you know, that, that I just love the Super Duke for. So, yeah, happy, very, very happy with this one. Full factory, got my own man and everything. Warmers, look at that, a Akopovich. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Not that I ride it. Forged wheels. Oh, look at it. Just look at it. Right, this is. <laughs> The Evo. Slicks. Better get out there quick. Got slicks. Don't know it's cooling down. This is, yeah, it's got all full WP cartridge uh, kit as well. It's got adjustable. You've got a twiddler to adjust the lever. Oh, listen to it. That sounds naughty. I've never ridden a bike on slicks before. This is the first time I've ever, I've ever ridden a bike on six. Oh, it sounds absolutely wonderful. But even in my size, I can feel there's more support. Oh, that rumble as you as you knock it down. You can feel the front. Lifting up more. You can feel it actually turning marginally quicker, I think, as well. <laughs> oh, it's crackling.
bit of popping. Oh, let me worst corner. I bloody hate that thing. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's thinking about memories of my Gen 1, the sound. so much support. Oh, it just tips in really fast there, caught me a bit out of the way there. <laughs> the grunt when you go on the power. Just sounds so angry, so gnarly and angry. all over the place on my lines, absolutely terrible. Fuel reserve. Bloody corners, absolute dog shit. Oh, they're popping. They're popping. I find it a little bit tight on the rear set, so might be size 12 clumpers. And the corner. Oh, okay. I think I might have still chosen. Just... Oh. One day I'll get the elbow down there. Brilliant. Well, I might get another quick lap in then. It's like a TT, quick fuel stop. Back out again. Like, doesn't need more of this, doesn't need more of that. All I can tell you, Jeremy, is it's incredible. You know, I'm not I'm not a test rider. To me, it feels bloody amazing. This is what I wanted when I said I want a fast, naked track bike. Shops, we may be having a new purchase. Be welcoming a new member to the family. Awesome, absolutely awesome. We've also got the two legends here, Chris Northover 
Adam Child. We can't, we can't have, we can't, we can't have Chad on camera. He'll be, char be charging me. Any, any, anything longer than 20 seconds, he, he invoices you. Chris, what do you think? Hey, it's a hell of a bike. The, the Super Duke's always been bonkers, and this one's a little bit more bonkers again. Um, it'd be interesting to ride it on the road now because we knew it was crazy on track. They've made it more crazy on track. I want to see what it's like actually in the real world, but the real world, not 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 video game land, but yeah, the beast still a beast. <laughs> Chad, are you, are you willing to give us a? I have to be free, mind. I'm a very skimp man, me. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds of your thoughts. Ah, oh. well, invoice I'll do it, me. I'll do it for forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. Very quick. What do you want? Just tell uh, thirty seconds. What your thoughts? Um, really interesting bike. It feels like uh, it's calmer than before. Um, and just by playing with the rider aids, you can really change the bike. Yeah. So you can have quite a soft bike with loads of TC, and then you can have something really aggressive. Yeah. Have you been on the race one? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, and You're that's just a different bike, isn't it, yeah, altogether? It's awesome, isn't it? Um, tires are, I think they've departed, haven't they? Is the polite way of putting it. <laughs> you think they should have stuck with They're the done. Yeah. They're done. <laughs> They've had it. They're ready for lunch. They are in the old people's home, sitting in their own piss, watching TV. <laughs> Gibbering. Gibbering. <laughs> Asking for ginger nuts. Session, uh, the last session, session five. So they've set this bike up. This is the non-Evo now, so this is the regular. But what they've done, because uh, myself and Johnny are not your average size riders. Me more so than Johnny. I don't want to group Johnny in <laughs> with my obesity, but he's a tall fella. He's taller than me. So they've, they've given, and he's a better rider than me, so he was perhaps noticing stuff which I wasn't noticing so much. So it'll be interesting to see if I could tell the difference with this one, which has had the uh, manual tweaks done to it. You know, because sometimes, you know, you can increase the preload on, a, on an automatic bike, but you're fighting the automatic side of it. You know, it's making adjustments. So this will just be bone stock, stock suspension, but tweaked to our weights. This feels very nice. I always said if I was going to get one, I would get the non-Evo because I'd find the stock suspension. Now, even on the 1290, the Gen 3 1290 is so good. And this tweaked, it feels very nice. And let's be honest, now once these things are set, okay, you, you may firm things up a little bit more when you go on circuit, but do you play with it that much, I suppose? The only good thing about electronic stuff, or well, the real benefit, is that you can put it in like comfort mode, you know. So if, you, if you're just ride, riding slowly and normally, not, not tearing around our Maria, you can bang it into comfort. And, you know, it gives you that flexibility, but this feels, this feels awesome if I'm honest. So maybe I would save myself 59 quid. Notice compared to the uh, the fully kitted bike I just rode. When you go on the throttle, that one did have a little bit more snap. This one's not got quite as much snap to the throttle. But it's still, it's still got absolutely bags of it. And I think on the 1290 where you had. You know, you, you, if you had in a crop of inch on the 1290, it sort of felt similar to this one does stock, you know, with the shift cam. But there, when you go on the power third, this one isn't lifting the wheel quite as much as the fully kitted bike with the full system and all of that. I hate that corner.
so we got ourselves a convoy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh. Happy neutral, Chris. Yeah, it doesn't pump so much. That's where we see the power to weight difference. I was desperate to get past this fella. That pick up in this that V, I love the V twin because of that out of corner pick up. Can't go to third for this one. Oh, that's a bit hot. Flip-flop. Pits. Gone around for another lap. Can't get enough. Well, that is the end of the track action. And what can I say about this bike? I mean, the 12, the Gen 3 1290 was incredible. And it was like, well, how can they improve on that bike? You know, it's a brilliant road bike, pretty decent track bike as well. And I think what they've done with this one is they've made giving it a little bit more, just a little bit more. I mean, they say it's 60% new, this bike. It's probably 20. 20% better. The new camshift technology gives it a little bit more umph at the top of the rev range when you're on circuit. The handling and sort of dynamics feel very similar, I would say, um, to the old bike. The ergonomics feel very similar to the old bike. It's just got that extra bit of grunt because of the extra 50cc and, and that shift cam again. You've got more fuel, you know, you've got bigger tank. Um, it is very very good i love the new styling i mean the new headlight i really like the new headlight this one's got some of the kit bits on as well you know, the slight fins at the front the elongated side panels i'm very very tempted now to buy one of these the only thing is the 990 which we're going to ride this afternoon how does that it, is there a need to get the 1390 anymore is the 990 enough of a machine as, as a road machine that's the question have ktm built something to compete against its, its own super duke but uh, yeah this is mightily impressive i have to say and uh, i really would not mind one in my stable at all i can't even really think of any negatives to say about it certainly not from just riding it on track you know obviously if you like when we ride it on the road eventually back in the uk you may get a few things a few niggles but i can't even really think of any niggles it's such an easy bike to ride but I, i'm struggling to think of something bad to say about the bike 
I found it much better on track than the street fighter. When I've ridden the street fighter on track, I struggled a little bit, my boots touching down and ground clearance, no ground clearance issues at all. My boot touched down once all morning and that was it. Loads of lean angle. It, that's even without the rear sets. Loads of lean angle. So it's just a really easy bike to ride, loads of power, stonking engine, stonking chassis, brakes are fantastic. What more can you ask for? So I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back with some more Duke videos. We're gonna be back with a 990 video, which may be up already, if not up there somewhere. There's also got the 390 Duke um, coming as well. So uh, if you're a bit of a Duke Fest fan, you need to subscribe to see those videos. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.